Hi guys, I'm Nikki. Welcome back to the channel. Now, each week, as you know, I'm bringing to you a mixture of cardio and strength training routines. But today's workout specifically, we're focusing on beginner abs and core. And this is because of popular demand. A lot of you have asked for it. And I know a lot of you that are beginners do try a lot more of the more advanced routines on my channel but I appreciate it might be a bit tough for you to keep up with. So this will be a great starting point for you to get on your fitness journey. Now, a strong core is really important to help you keep proper form with all of your other exercises. It gives you a great foundation to build your strength training on, and it will help you to improve your stability and balance. Now, make sure that you do check out the other beginner workout series on my channel. And other than a mat and some water, you won't need anything else. So let's go. Right then guys, so this routine is going to be 30 seconds of work with 30 seconds of rest. And in the rest periods, I'll demonstrate to you what the next exercise will be. Now remember, go at your own pace. If you can't go for the full 30 seconds, don't worry. Try and go as fast or as long as you can and then wait until we move on to the next exercise. The first exercise is a standing side crunch. Squeezing the core, keeping it nice and tight. Like so. Okay, so we'll go in three, two, one, and we're starting with the left leg first. So squeeze and bring that knee up. That's it. And you should be really working all of the core actually, but also the oblique muscles will really get a good work from this exercise. So keep going, halfway. That's it. Keep working it. Three, two, one, and rest. We're gonna go on the right side next, okay? So same exercise, but we're gonna work the right side. And we should be able to feel it on the sides. Relax, stretch out the abs, and we'll go in 15 seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Yeah. Keep going. Halfway there. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Now we're going down to the floor and we're doing crunches. So for crunches, feet flat on the floor. Keep the back nice and flat on the floor. Again, hands by your ears, okay? And what you're going to do is squeeze, lift the shoulders off the floor, and then slowly lower back down, okay? Try and get the shoulders off the floor as much as you can. If you can't get them high, don't worry, that's okay. Just squeeze that tummy and lift them as much as you can. Let's go in three, two, one, let's go. Breathe in as you come out, up, out as you roll down. Please. That's it. Three, two, one, and rest. Next, we're doing a bicycle. So, hands just under your bum for support, and straighter each leg and alternate, okay? Keep the back flat, keep the core tight. If that's not challenging you enough, then feel free to add the arms, touch elbow to knee, okay? Otherwise, just work the legs. One, let's go. And get the shoulders off the floor. To make it that bit tougher, but not quite as tough as hold, as elbow to knees. And keep cycling those legs halfway. 
Don't arch the back. Keep the core tight. That's it. Three, two, one, and rest. So next, arms by the sides, feet flat again, and we're doing reverse crunches. So for reverse crunches, you're going to bring the knees and the feet off like this, and then keep the core tight and lift the hips off the floor slightly, okay? Like that, and this will work the lower abdominal muscles. So we'll go in four, three, two, one, let's go. Good. Can you feel it burn? <laughs> I can. Ooh. Halfway. Get those hips off the floor. Nice deep breaths. Three, two, one, and rest. Grab a drink. Next, we're doing tabletop knee taps. So, on all fours, hands underneath the shoulders, knees or legs at 90 degree angles. Lifting the knees off the floor. Hold, back down. Up, back down. Okay, we'll go in five, four, three, two, one. So get those knees up, tap them on the floor, up and down. Now if you, again, with this exercise, want to push and challenge, then don't even touch the floor with your knees. Just keep it up and hold it and keep the core nice and tight. Or if that's a bit tough for you, just keep tapping those knees. 10 seconds left. Keep that core, tummy nice and tight. Tap those knees, three, two, one, go. Well done, good job so far. Okay, a few exercises left. Next, we're doing heel touches. So, feet together, feet flat on the floor. The closer your feet are, the easier it's going to be. But you're just gonna tap the heels, okay? Keep the tummy again nice and tight and rotate. Further away that you bring your feet, harder it is. And this again will work the oblique muscles. So we'll go in four, three, two, one. Let's go, touch those heels. Good. That's it guys, keep working. Halfway. Keep it moving. That's it. Two, one. Good job. Okay, next we'll do in a side plank. So for side planks on your forearm, hips facing forwards, lift um, the pelvis off the floor. Keep the, the leg that's on the floor, keep it bent straighten your other leg and you're just going to lift it up and we are going to hold it okay if that's not challenging you then both legs straight and hold it okay we'll go in three two one lift keep that core tight and hold keep taking deep breaths good and then we're going to switch sides after this and do the other side so lift hold halfway keep breathing seven six five four three two one rest good work let's switch sides remember bent leg for the leg that's on the floor straight and the other leg or straight and both legs but it is quite tough to do that but that's what it's all about pushing ourselves so you choose which option suits you and we'll go in 10 seconds five four three two one lift those hips and squeeze keep that core nice and tight hips facing forwards As you get stronger with this routine, keep on repeating it. 
do the work sections for longer and rest for less. And as you get stronger and stronger, then you can move up to intermediate routines. Three seconds, two, one, rest. Okay, the next exercise is a dead book. So, this is a bit of coordination involved here. Legs 90 degrees, arms, both arms straight up. Now, straighten your left leg, and as you straighten it, the right leg goes out, or the right arm even goes out behind you, okay? So, opposite arm, opposite leg, and you straighten in both. So, down, up, let's go. If the coordination's a bit too much with this, then just keep the arms straight and just do the legs, that's okay. But opposite arm, opposite leg, straight and both, that's it. Keep that back nice and flat, don't arch it, core tight, keep going. Nice deep breath. In three, two, down, rest it off, stretch out those abs. And we're going into our last exercise, which is a plank. So we're going to hold it for 30 seconds. Okay, so on the forearms, I want you to push yourself with this. Make these last 30 seconds count. So try, keep the back nice and flat, bum off the floor and hold, keep the core tight. If it's a bit too much, then just drop the knees. Three, two, one, hold, let's go. Keep breathing. Like I said, make these last few seconds count. Come on, you can do it. Halfway there, keep holding, keep that bum low. 10 seconds, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Good work guys, good job. Now, like I said, as you get stronger and you start getting more comfortable with those exercises, then instead of doing 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, do 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off, 50 seconds on, 10 seconds off. And then when you've built up enough strength and you feel comfortable, check out some of the other intermediate um, workouts on my channel. Now, there is a beginner workout series as well that you can check out. There's a full body, um, other routines on there. So I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new here and hit the notification bell, drop comments, let me know how you got on and I'll look forward to catching you in my next video.